next to you The sky is more blue In Malibu Next to you Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing this whole new series on my channel that I'm super excited about. And this is the first video that I'm filming for this series. And I'm beyond excited to be starting this on my channel. So what makes these videos so special and so unique and so different. Well, I am one of the few YouTubers that are actually based in Alberta, Alberta, Canada. Alberta, Canada has a lot of history and a lot of haunted locations. And I'm not just based out of one city. I travel around Alberta quite often. Um, I live in one city, I work in one city, and my boyfriend lives in another city on the opposite side of the province. So I kind of travel everywhere and I'm going to be going to each haunted location that I do talk about in my videos and I'm gonna try my best to be doing one paranormal video for every week of October because October is my favorite month not only because my birthday is in October but I just love October and everything about it so I'm gonna be trying to do a paranormal video every single week hopefully let's hope for the best so I hope you all enjoy this series and please, if you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button below and turn on your bell notifications to be notified when I upload so you don't miss a thing. And I'm going to be talking about the Dean House, which is arguably one of the most haunted places in Canada. So let's get started on the history and then I'm going to be doing a tour for you guys. I'm actually going to be going there in a couple weeks from when I'm filming this video, so I'm so excited. I'm going to be going there for my birthday dinner. Yes, my birthday dinner. Because, I mean, it's just the most fitting place that I could think about going. And I saw their menu, it looked amazing, but let's be honest, I'm not going there for the food. <laughs> so let me go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of history about the Teen House and why it is one of the most haunted places in Canada. This building was actually originally built in 1906. So it was built for the superintendent of the police department and his name was Richard Burton Dean. The house has terrified a lot of visitors throughout the years and I want to tell you guys a little bit of history about the house and why it's so haunted. So it was originally located on the corner of 9th Avenue and 6th Street Southeast. In 1929, the Dean House was moved to its present location and became a boarding house for several decades until 1973. During the time it was a boarding house, it was a house that had seen many deaths. One of the first notable deaths that happened in this house was a woman actually jumping off the balcony from the second floor onto the ground and killing herself. Also, there was a man that was gunned down on the front porch of the house. And in 1933, a father and son lived in the house and the son was epileptic and was made fun of and bullied and rejected in school. He actually committed suicide in the attic upstairs. That's, that one's eerie. There are a few more well-documented deaths over the past years in the Dean House. One was a murder-suicide that took place in 1952, and they were the deaths of Irma and Roderick Umpreville. So basically, the husband had killed his wife. He strangled her and stabbed her multiple times in front of his two children before committing suicide. It's unclear on whether or not he killed his two sons as well, but he killed his wife and himself in the house. So how people find out, found out that this place was haunted, well, you sometimes hear demonic laughter in the foyer. In the 1990s, they brought a psychic to the house. The psychic picked up on two different spirits. One of the spirits were, was a man that was gunned down on the porch, and another in the, par in the parlor, now bar area. The psychic also believed that this house is located now on an Indian burial ground. If it wasn't haunted from all those deaths, it's on top of an Indian burial ground. How... Creepy is that? Oh my gosh. Speaking of the native borough ground, one of the ghosts that haunts this house actually haunts the basement area. So the Dean House actually hosts these like mystery dinners and stuff like that. So there's gonna be like different clues around the house and you have to work to solve a mystery. So one of the women that was participating in this particular dinner went into the basement and she was approached by a tall native man telling her to get out, yelling at her to get out and saying that she was on sacred ground and that she needed to leave. I don't know what I would do if I experienced that. That's just like so... Uh. I don't even know. That is so creepy. So one of the rooms on the main floor was actually revamped to look like the original office from when the house was actually built. 
And occasionally staff actually smell the tobacco smell coming out of the office and the whole house slash restaurant these days is completely smoke free. And also guests actually report smelling the tobacco smell coming out of his office once in a while. Oh, that one is a little bit creepy as well, but not as creepy as Native Man one. <laughs> also staff have actually reported a phone ringing, an old antique phone that's in his office that's completely unplugged and there's no way to call this phone just ring in the middle of the day. One of the staff members had actually went into his office to check on the phone and it was completely unplugged. Like there was no way for anybody to be calling this phone. There was also a server that worked for the Dean House and he was working one late night shift and saw an image of a man floating down the hallway with the lower portion of his limbs missing. The man didn't seem to notice him and walked down the stairs and out the door. Ah, can you imagine you guys working by yourself in a haunted restaurant or a haunted house and seeing an apparition of a man that's missing half his body? That's just his legs walking down the stairs and out the door. I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. <laughs> Another thing that's happened here is a supervisor at the restaurant, Mrs. Snide Miller, has heard the piano on the upstairs been being played on more than one occasion. Upon investigation, there's never anyone in the room. The music always stops just before she enters the room. And on one occasion, she felt a blast of cold air pass her. One of the main places in this house that sees the most paranormal activities actually the attic and you can go on tours here apparently this is what I heard this building is actually part of Fort Calgary so they offer tours which I'm really hoping that I get to do that on when I do visit the Dean house I really hope that there's like some sort of tour because I'd love to see how creepy the attic is and take pictures of it because I haven't seen any online all I've seen is just like the front of the house and I'd love to like actually capture it for you guys, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So there is reportedly a vortex in this attic. If you guys don't know what a vortex is, it's where spirits and paranormal can come through. It's like anything can be a vortex. This particular vortex is supposedly the closet. So what happens is staff had actually locked the closet on multiple locations. They've closed the door, locked it, even like padlocked it. And whenever they would come back, the door would be wide open and there would be no explanation on how it got open. The padlock would also be on the floor once in a while. So with the attic, there is a blood stain that never goes away. A blood stain that's been cleaned multiple times, but will appear different colors, different shapes, different sizes on different parts of the attic. And this is where the little boy had committed suicide. So the blood stain would be in one part on the cabinets and then it would appear on the rugs and then it would appear somewhere else. Now that you guys know a little bit of the history and why the Dean House is haunted, if you guys do want to go and visit it, it's actually located in Calgary, Alberta in Inglewood. So I love the area of Inglewood. Inglewood is one of my favorite areas in Calgary and I'm constantly feeling like I'm drawn to it. And there's a lot of haunted locations in Inglewood, not just the Dean House, but if you do a little bit of exploring and you do a little bit of research, you don't even need a car. If you live in the area, you can walk there and you can walk around. It's not a really big area, but a lot of the buildings are super old and super haunted. So I love Inglewood. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first paranormal story time. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the footage in a couple weeks in the future from now of when I actually visit the Dean house for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone. Yeah, just going in. So you guys, we're at the Dean house right now and it's going to be sort of a vlog. This is the back. Guys, we're here at night. Isn't that like awesome? It's on the other side, actually. Yeah.
up in flames, girl, I'm on fire. 